Shadow of War. It is instead blossomous in I thought I'd do something different. So we've come to this sacred game. Though quite frankly it's horrific. It is actually a horrific game. But now I thought, you know what? The new DLC just came out for it. I thought, you know what? I'm going to at some point play this game, you know, the next play, bring it back to the new game plus. I thought, no. You know, see, this game doesn't really benefit very well from being a let's play because there's so much stuff in it. A lot to do. Even though I think the Let's Play only lasted. Lasted 40 odd episodes. Less than 40 episodes. Hmm. Depends entirely though if you're very good at killing things. And I got very good at it towards the end. So. Small golden head people. I don't know why the gold is such an important thing in this game. I mean, really, why are they all gold? But no, you got Sacred Sorrows. Which, according to the patch, the new boss rush mode, I'm actually trying it out. Ooh. Sacred Sorrows, Bullhood of the Saint Sorrows. Ah. Pilgrimage? I don't. Uh, maybe I should have re really read what that thing said. Show patch notes, I think. Sacred Sorrows mode, here you go. Boss Rush mode, all five different unlockable courses, each with two different levels. Try to beat your best time and achieve the highest rank. Uh, then you got the Mirror's Map Challenge. Just uh, tell the new quest in which Mirror, Star of the Bloodstained, Ritual of the Night, makes an appearance. Whoa! Got new art. Ooh, actually, we have show the art. We have backgrounds. So you got Blasphemous. Very grim. Stir of Dawn. Actually, a pretty decent background. And then Ugly McUglyton here. In Strife and Ruin. Yeah, let's get that for now. Taylor speaking, this is a post-game stream. We're in the post-pre-game bit. I I shouldn't, don't really do a lot of editing, so it's going to be a case of it will appear. It will be this. And we will do set off at the right time. I hope. I won't lie. The number of times I've set off at the wrong time is pretty frequent. We're fine. That's fine. Then we'll set off at the right time. Eventually. I, I I have a nasty habit of setting off the wrong, setting off um late. Not my fault, but you know, I do. I must. I really don't like the fact that he's staring at me continuously. So if I go pilgrimage, it's saying I've got playtime of thirty-one percent. Hours, but I've got 17% completed. Which one of these? Are? I'm guessing because that's blue, that's New Game Plus. And that's regular. I must put the number for testing. So. Oh, I've got 17% completed already. Let me go past the first boss. I think I did get past the first boss in this game. In this one. I'm very tempted to set off on a brand new game. But then I don't think I'll get the I don't think I'll get the um but according to what I remember, the uh Stir of Dawn DLC stuff doesn't trigger until New Game Plus. So if you wanna see the original playthrough on this mode, go watch my Let's Play series. On my channel, could I do those? Remarkably. I went on the screen because quite frankly I couldn't stand staring at You know what, let's change the background again. Go away. You're cooler. I love you. 
I see, I, I, I'm so, I, I judge things so, 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 you know, beyond just base level. If it ain't cool, it ain't there. Be cool, I'll be square. Ba, 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 ba. Just one the minute to go, then we'll set off on our merry little pilgrimage to go and beat the guy we just saw on the intro screen. I gotta go beat him up. I'm gonna beat him up real hard. Hopefully with that. See, if you don't actually have the... I'm... I don't want to spoil it to spoilers. Because I know how it end, the game ends from the first ending, but I don't know what happens if you do the sacred, the silent dawn bit, still the dawn stuff. And it's half past. Away we go. Yeah, I got to this bit. I'm rocking this cool outfit. Uh, let's see. Nope, that's not the map. Still not the map. There's the map. I oh, know I haven't done the first boss yet. He's in the next room. I think. Yes, because you come to the altar, you do your praying. Hold on! Ooh, that's pretty. You're so disabled from your thing, and that statue wasn't there before. I just realized that wasn't there, and Neve was a statue. In fact, a lot of this background wasn't here. It was less pretty. Also, I look awesome in my black cape and red sword. Oh. Hello. Choose your penitence. Upon death, all your tears and atonement are placed on the guilt fragment. Regret overcomes you, your guild level reaches maximum once you fall in battle. Nothing can ease your pain, bile flasks will not heal you, refilling your fervor instead. I'll try to scroll down. Okay, they can't move that one. No penitence. Penitence of the unwavering. It, it looks like I'm supposed to be able to scroll down, but I can't. There you go, now you're doing it. I don't know why you're doing that, doing that before. Penitence of the bleeding heart, your skin is torn, only your will keeps you going. Every attack you receive makes you lose one life orb. Your sacred equipment is affected by the miracle. Bioflasks regenerate several orbs over time, but suffering damage stops this process. Your enemies are unrelent unrelentless. They will respawn every time you come back to an area. Ooh. Your sword arm weak. Penitence of the unwavering faith. Your sword arm weakens. May a couple of attacks are half as effective. Your mind is stronger. Your determination is an endless supply of fever. Fever. Fever regenerates over time. Pain makes you lose concentration. The damage suffered reduces your fever stocks. Penitence of the true guilt. Failure is an exception. Oh, good, that bit. Oh. Uh, I want no penitence. Penitence of, of the bleeding heart. Uh, is it irreversible? You can cancel a vow once you have taken it. You can cancel a vow once you've taken it. Even so, you, do you still want to select any penitence? Is it irreversible? You can't cancel a vow once you've taken it. Even so. I don't like the idea of not being able to heal. Oh, well, but a single oath, do you want to undertake this penitence? This penance. Oh god, it's making me choose. Yes, we'll go for it. Abandon? Irreversible. I got life orbs instead. Okay. This game is just essentially hit hard mode. If I don't like it, I'm going back to normal mode. Normal hard mode. 
Now there's the first boss. <coughs> Hello, Bussy. I dodged that. I know you attack off my heart. I say that and then you get stomped on. <laughs> I got the first boss and got killed! Right, oh, uh, that was um. Did you just die to the first boss? No! Plus, I can't take too much off me, I haven't got anything yet. Uh, all I had to do was don't, not be there when he landed. Counts. It's gonna be completely out of the way. Not second time, mate. Not a second time. Be blasphemous, baby. Requiem eternum. Eternum. Yay! Meant to do the thing again. You'll see your head. I have a face on the hair! Why I'm doing this, I don't really know. It never actually explained why I'm doing this in the first place. So he's found my health orb. He's got to avoid taking damage. Did he respawn if we go back? No, because I don't think even the game would be silly enough to make you respawn. Yeah, I don't think you respawn the boss. But it was the easiest boss of the game. I just gotta keep you just farming him up for 300 turns. Boink. Nope, I need a key to the exalt chamber of the eldest brother to open this door. Hello. Yep, I don't know what actually ever happens to you. Nothing good. I died a lot there, it was very annoying. First boss.
Quiet Fawn. Inventory. You can check out items you have found so far in your inventory. Well, press. Yay. I got a petrified bell. And payment for an incomplete penance. Its stem bends when no one looks at it, pointing towards the forest of the Holy Line. The stone petals are a sign of the sorrowful miracle. Warning that something sleeping must awake. I don't think I've seen this before. Why have you chosen me? Why do I feel you in my flesh? In my skin, in my blood? Punishment? Say at least one word so I can understand why you keep me prisoner between sleep and wakefulness. May my body break for you. My arms be bound for you. My arm eyes awaken when you call me by name. Confine me to the stone room and let stone itself be the key that sets me free. Yeah, I heard this before in the actual thing. I will. This thing actually never changes, I don't think. So I will change. I will look, read that later. I have hearts. Yeah, let me keep all my hearts. Ah. And all the things I unlocked. You fawn. Your fawned hair. Someone has the help of the fawn dame who protects the penitent one from all evil for a short while. I have all the mere couple of attacks. I have all this. The spiral. Well, how about that? Uh, scaly coin. Close to the symbol of greed, increases the number of tears the tournament has at each attack. Uh, embers of the Broken Star. No, sphere, this one. This one makes it appear them appear. That gives me more health. Hehe. <laughs> Penitent one, did you do you have like your entire inventory from the last game? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Did you speak? Mm mm. Oh yes, moans and grumbles are fine, I forgot about that. One can be a vow of silence and actually say and uh, don't have to uh, do anything. Okay, let's see what we've got in here. Single tone. Using the elemental resistance of his wielder. Hmm. Ooh, edge vibrate. Which is an inscrutable ringing. It can insert into mere into mere coupler. Mere coupler. Makes its edge vibrate, causing it, its attacks to destroy certain immaterial projectiles, but reducing the elemental resistance of its wielder. Call the maker the frob firstly after every kill, transferring life force to its wearer, uh, but reducing the amount of health recovered by bile vessels. I mean, the sacred oils inflame the soul. The sacred fury increases the strength of those who wield the sword, while at the same time lowering their defense. Ah, uh, see, I usually have this one. Holy purge. Yeah, increase the cost of one's further bar. But increases the enhanced power of the, the prayer. <coughs> Burst with offensive prayers can be inserted into a couple of blocking stance. Increases duration but expose longer to enemy attacks. Oh god, I can't remember which one I can get from this. Well, that makes, oh, that makes them stronger. The prayer is stronger. I'll try the single tone. Ah, uh, see. Um, no free sisters. I will have that prayer. You shouldn't actually be able to access any of this. I know, but I'm going to do it anyway. If I remember how to use it. Nope, that's that battle ask. Oh, I can't use it yet. Bleh. Raven? Told doorishly. Ah! I 
never been here. I don't think. Am I? Oh, Patronus. Patronus, Ross. I've never seen this place. Hello? Quicksilver. Alright. I have a whisper here, hold on. I need to equip the shroud. Oh, so I'm going to take this off and put this on. <coughs> what are you saying? I hear footsteps above me. Beyond the roots, I hear regular raspy breathing from behind the rocks. I hear the worms nearby slithering towards me. That was useful. It was useful. No, it wasn't. I want to see what the door is. You have given the petrified bell. I may or may regret not regret this. I will now take walk off the beaten path. Oh, hello. Um. Wow. You are really bent over. Like really bent over. Sorry. Uh huh. Wow, you are really bound up. Ancient Miracle's plans. Well, thank you. I'm going to say the bell. Okay. Uh, hopefully you can, you know, Anything behind you? No. Okay, I, I, you know, I don't want to blow that because that's like a real on your arm. I don't know why. But yeah. Okay, I think I just triggered the um. Patrona. Patrona. Petros. I think I just triggered the DLC. I don't have the ability to double jump. Hi. You came back. That was a silly thing. Hello? It is not possible. It is. That which bears hundreds of years of oblivion has returned. Yeah, I said I'm loose. It has returned. Sorry. There was a dude here earlier. Did you squash him? No. Now, if I got my things correct, equipped correctly, this bog stuff won't actually slow me down. Nope. Nope. Remind. Oh, that's different. Okay, I'm putting my bog stuff on. What is the thing with. Uh. That's now tongue, Leno Golden Fred, give her Send the bottomless pisses, I actually want that. Ah, nail uprooted from dirt, that's the thing. What's this one do? So now tongue, fourth right. That one gives me allows me to walk through poison miasma. Don't need that right now, I'll have that one instead. So much more useful. Tears of Atonement. Hey, thank you. 
I. Ow. You know you shouldn't be able to get off there just yet. Yeah, well, I'm the New Game Plus dude. Amen. Oh, I died to this one thing. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, that's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. Did you die to the? This one thing's like the easiest thing to dodge. Yes. And you die to them? Yes. Ah, that's what I was trying to plan up. You got rid of them before. I gotta get used to that. They are really, those guys are really not dangerous because they just go walk, plod, 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 plod. Nope, didn't turn that right. Hey! Ah, oh, I didn't. Full Y for that. Rook. Hello! This ground feels oh like the other stuff. Nope. There we go. There we go. Yeah! <laughs> that doesn't work on me. Uh, Clavicus of Delta School Child. Oh! I got. I got to all this stuff? Man! And the plus side, I got this thing. Woo! Gimme! The knot, a rosary knot. I gotta stop jumping into those. It only gives me my stuff, other stuff, it doesn't give me my ability to... My other ability, so... It was super powerful! What ah. I never collected all those guys, either. Get all Yeah, yeah. Ow. Qua. Oh, this has changed quite dramatically, actually. Cool. Cinematic. Oh, yay. See? Yeah, yeah, just just proving that you're, you know, not nice people. You should have, you know, not... Your miracle abandoned you. Proof. That's, that's, that's proof that you're not nice people. Now, there should be stuff here, but this is going to be... See, give me more of... To the bottom. Hello. Welcome to my world. Sanctuary to this humble brotherhood of the pistols of news. AK Medics. Though that guy is I think a bit more than in the crowd of kiss, he's missing a hand and a foot. Yeah, no, the medical profession should be you know, really boosted. Support the NHS. Well, that's 
that's not good. Uh, you should get like tonics and potions. See, more of those, you should stick to those. Or just a case of find anything that says rare ointment. That guy really does look like a vampire is going on. Ah, oh, that's a wee bit little one. Hello, makeup there. Hi. It's a moot point to be honest. You can't get the cinematic of it taking the sword off you going and then handing it back to you. I've already been through and gotten it all. Again, what my let's play do I not to see the miracle stuff I've picked up. I'm gonna get you. Ah, got ya. Three of thirty-eight. Hi. Why are you a winch? I like the ravens on your roof. That's the way Bob to whisper you listen to this guy going, hur, 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 hur. but uh, they don't need. No, is anything interesting? There could be more tears. Oh no, Phalax. A Branon the Gravedigger. They have stories for each one of those things, but I'm not going to go for it right now. I'd die instantly if I drop on the spikes. Although they're very weak and I'm very strong. Hi. Ow. How about touching you? Ooh, that's all right. The big guy down there. Oh wait, no, I think I got that guy before by, by going and he got zapped above me. Um. Well. You turn around and literally hit me. I literally climb upstairs and you stab me immediately. That's uncalled for. Oh my god, I'm not doing any challenges with this, otherwise I would just have lost. You must go for the whole game without dying once. Well, nope, that's the end of Hello again. Bye. Bye. This time take less damage.
Yeah, they're not a match for me, to be perfectly honest. Right. But no, I got the um, awesome cool attack. Oh, yeah! So, yeah! Can I just do that while I'm getting a notification? Like that. What I put up. Ow. You do Ow. That one again. Thankfully that takes a lot of um damage on them. Oh yeah. But I could have just done the stomp thingy on him, but I didn't want to. I go down this way. I can do that. Wild Bass King! I don't really know what's going on. I don't. I never actually figured out what that thing deal that one is. You can't hit me through the ground. I'd like to point that out. <coughs> Your attacks are interesting, but they're not that interesting, mate. That one was a big one, so you can't... What well on. It won't let me dash through them. So they've changed that mechanic a bit, because I think before you could actually dash through them. If I want revenge, I could just go up to get the guy above me here. And he actually... Oh! Sorry, I said, you know what, I'm going to dash through there. Nice! Come on then, back over. Ah. <laughs> Slightly cheating, I know, but um... I didn't get go to honor school, so that's fine by me. That's a powerful down attack, so... Whoop, uh, whoop, whoop. Take this. Hey, I got another one. Alright, I need to get time this. What <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I kind of been killed. I got the I got the fairy thing. Annoyingly, I haven't got the next point yet, so I'm going to go back from here again. Honestly, I don't actually need the cash. Because I don't buy anything. Oh wait, no, I buy from the shopkeeper. I tell a lie, I need the cash. Oodles of cash. Tons of cash. I want cash out of the was Ooh! I want more cash than you can possibly imagine! Now, then let me walk.
Stealing them is easy. Just do that. For that, it's just a dive through. I can't take the dive from through. Yes, I did just cut the rock out of me there. Because I'm that awesome. Rock? Midair? Nay. Nay, I say. You take this. Black. I get better at this. See, if I get this whole combo off, I will devastate you. And then I can just cheat and do that. That's not, oh, that's not very holy. Ow. Hey that. Hey, hey, hey. Para Lund Frost. Dodge. Boo! I just insta give them. They just went down, baby. You know, Beastie would be nice. I want to drop down there. I think that's a dead. Yeah, that's a desktop drop. Oh, yeah. I need a um, heal safe spot. Can't remember what the one is. Ooh, LBRB, what's... I don't know if I want to put one in. Put a uh, drop of ink, pin marker on it. Um, This door? No. There is one there, just not where I want to be. I think? What is it? Is? Mash back the other way. Let, 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 let. I'm pretty sure that's cheating. There's something you can get from there, but you. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice effect, actually. There. That's what you get for not jumping correctly. And forgetting that they, it doesn't have an auto grab button. And back from here again. I should have just gone straight to the frosty door and got the shortcut. Oh, put it to one. Did you grab it? I died 40 times. Okay. You failed the challenge. I know. But I am exceedingly rich. I mean, seriously, I haven't been doing this for five minutes and I think I've died for. They didn't ask for oh, the difficulty of this place a bit. Ow. The, um, five, st four strikes and you're dead system is a bit... Ow. To say the least. Ow, that's something of a life. Thankfully, Biovasks regenerate the, f the health. Oh, slow, multiple orbs slowly, but you take damage and it stops. Yeah. 
I don't think all oh, flat flat. You gotta learn how to block them at the right time. You know, I can't be bothered with you. I cannot literally be bothered with you. I know I want the money, but I can't be bothered. I have to go get my health, my things back. And up. Nope. Doing. That one... The scenery is nice, this game. I know it's a bit of a draw... Bit, draw very... Dour game, to begin with. Come on, dudes, march over. No, 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 no! Oh, God, why do we do this? Dude, just don't stand there, why? His sword art can hit you. No, no mind. Some people just never learn. Now, if I remember correctly, there's a fairy. I don't want to die again. But before I do this, I'm going to go to the next screen and get the save point so I don't have to go back for the whole area again. Where the olive tree wither. There we go. We haven't learned how to teleport yet, so. Whee! Wasteland of buried cathedrals. Now, I don't know if the guy actually has an order which you are supposed to do his things. There you go. Here's one. Tears of atonement because you're not supposed to come here. Gotcha. Now if you have the drop thingy, you can actually drop down from here and you land safely on the zone below. Unless they've literally hardcoded that to be a panicking... Indu it's this sort of section stuff that I find panic inducing. I'm gonna deal with these guys now. Ow! You stopped me mid-jump. Can I just cheese you from here? <laughs> I can. You didn't trigger. Okay, so let's see. So, um, according to the map, different ways to different places. This way goes to here, which is more the wasteland of churches. But I think it's where you're supposed to go. I do like the thing. You cheats! I say that I cheese people from beyond the screens. Oh, they have to look down. Hey, if you have to look down, folks. Woo! <laughs> Gotta be cheating this way. Boink. I don't know why he didn't. Why did one die, not the other one? Ow. I pressed the wrong button entirely to parry. I went and pressed the try to activate him. Prayer mode! Bing! 
You know what? I'm going to swap my prayer out. Remnants of the Crimson Mist. Safe Haven. Toronto, my sister. Devil of the Rights. That makes you. Of Umbrella Fur for which attacks, penalties are replaced with devastating blow. Does that annihilate enemies? I'm gonna try that out. It's a different style of attack, so. Yay. Again, I like the backgrounds of this game. The art style of the game is fantastic. The story is, is morbid as it's trusty, but. Miss me. Up and over, up and over, and I'm coming back for a rematch. What? I had no grief when I died, apparently, or the fever. I still would like to know what they are. Dude, just walk into me, I can't block that. <sighs> nope, don't use that. Yourself. Can I block this? No, I can't do a counter strike. That hurt. I'll stand out here, you can't hurt me here. Ow, I got hit by that bit. I have never seen the the um uh, big fatality thing for them. Not the um bleh, just dead. I mean I've never seen one thing where you like do the red bomb, you do the Y kill on them. And yeah, I just have to be like that. And bridge of the free Calvaries. It's entirely not quite. Ah, so I don't know this place is supposed to go. Oh well, let's go across here to the other door. Look how pretty this place is. That's a big bridge, by the way. Hi! Oh, that's not good. Yeah, pretty much. Hmm. The miracle is a butt cheek. Fickle doesn't even begin to begin to describe how what's going on with that miracle. Okay, Fickle doesn't even begin to describe it. The miracle is Fickle. And does not... It is really Fickle. Even those who worship it properly are often not rewarded for it. I could actually just walk, go down the other way. Because I've got the bridge now. But it's just easy going this way. Yeah. I got my force strike in before you put your shield up. 
Ha ha! Flat. Hehehe. <laughs> okay, so we gotta go down. The guy I usually do first, the one at the bottom. Now there's actually a thing down here. Not there. That's what you call sudden death. That's what if you, if you didn't have the blood thing, you wouldn't be able to go over here. Brother? Tatula's carnal remains. That's a very sad story to this character. The remains I just found is very sad. And more evidence of the miracle being quite a butt cheek. Well, the murdered novice Tentudia, who were, is who were isolated from that were isolated from the rest so she could not receive a holy burial. Who is Tentudia, did you you ask? Well, she was once a girl born in the same Yellowest village of Albero, like you and me. On her fifteenth year, something extremely unusual happened. Her parents watched as part of her hair began twisting, unavoidably turning into very thin horns. Concerned with the thought that this might be a punishment from the miracle, they locked her in as a novice inside a distant nunnery, famous for its strict cloistering thus preventing discovery of what would have been undoubtedly been considered heresy. Again, religion. You do little to make us endear to you. Since all these guys are quite happily running around under the name of the miracle. Literally, they do all, all these guys are fighting. They think like the miracles told us to do this. We must do it for the miracle. Oh. There you go. No, you're not. If you were, you wouldn't be running the other direction. Mercy Dreams. The first zone I ever come to. So you can go to these guys if you want to get your um, grief, you are rid of guilt. You want to get rid of your guilt and such. Actually, that's the question here. The item in question, is it in its... Uh, something painted wood bead glass fawn symbol. Oh, yeah, that's actually a good useful thing to wear if you don't want to get hurt by touching people. Let's take a stone, there was an item that I. Dodging distance, hollow pearl, destroying. What is the requirement for this? Frozen olive, piece of the golden, the golden mask, piece of tombstone, nude pearl. It's got, it's got a bit high. What else? Shield ink. There's an item you ha you need. I don't think they'll let you keep it. No, because if you had it, you'd just get it done immediately. You'd be able to get this immediately. Patufa's protection. Hmm. Oh yeah, lightning attack. 
But yeah, you get an item, and with it, you can... It sort of protect... Gathers your guilt for you. But eventually it goes black, and that's when those things become useful. But I don't think I've got it yet. Also, go away. Let's see, I believe the thing is in this room. There it is. Let's light you. I've got my bonfire. Woo! I don't have to run all the way back here again. Alright. These again, insta-kill you. Why, I don't know. It went through me. Don't know where you came from, but you're going down. Hey! The cleric. I'm gonna do a dead ball on this guy. Give me that. Ha! Yeah! Yeah! Give me that. I wish I can't move in the state. Come on, come closer. Come on. What the? Yo. Miss that? I better take a blood thingy. You could go to the up route, which is safer, but requires you to go through this trap. You'll pass all these spikes, which will get you killed. As readily and as easily as the uh, enemies could. You can't even look down here, you've got to go down in order to get the next, next zone. You can't reach the bottom unless you do all the little flaws. I'm gonna hit twice. Hoo da These aren't that dangerous. Well, if they don't get hit by them repeatedly. Come here, you. He's over there. I can cut those, mate. You're gonna have to get close if you wanna hit me. That's what that truck's designed. I like you fall down, you hold it there. Ooh, treasure chest. Mine. Come on, spooky. I want beastry. I don't know what these things are. Look. I will get you. Can I 
I shoot? Hit these. I can. But... Ah, then they got the floating priest dudes with a pain in the butties. All the guys in this game are actually pain in the butts. These guys are not so dangerous because you. So long as you get them. You just jump with that and smack them. I'd be more impressed if my priest could float. That, that would be impressive, actually. That, that would like be the ultimate what the. You would just worship immediately if your priest could float in the air. Ow! I didn't stop his. I didn't stun him. He punched through. He came from in front of me. Here's where you go to the guy up there, because you would go, Bless me my guild! And he would bless you, and he would get rid of your guilt. We don't need to do that. We, our guilt's only down here. Okay, I forgot to let's go this way. Bonk. Say that. What the? Get over here! Get over here! Ow, I jumped straight into that. Oh, come on, really? It didn't... I don't think it got rid of my thing, it just, um... My guilt, my guilt now appears in two locations. If I go to my map, I should have two guilt markers. Yeah. I got two guilt zones. But I'm not losing my money. The true guilty thing makes it so you have to lose all your money, and then I'd have to go get it back. This is the only thing that makes this part of the game, this bit, Ah! He got the guy I wanted. Bye boing So you wouldn't be able to get rid of them, you'd have to... Um, uh, Spooky hand. Spooky! Fear my spooky hands. You could just drop down to the bottom. You do drop faster than that thing actually spins. Uh, you know what? Blip. Let's get you up here, shall we? Uh, personally, I think my attack should have gone through your attack and done a cami wave on you. I haven't actually done the. I don't think I've done the. Ooh. Give me that. Aya! I've never done that to those guys either. I am a klepto. I grab everything. Tell you speaking that tell you speaking that certain people are means of the pickpocket that steals people things. Oh, you're not over there. Oh, hello. 
Oh, the red bead wax. Where you get red bead wax from? And I've already got it. Found it though. Come here. Missed. Duck. Ow! I jumped into that one. <coughs> I'm here, you. Get out of the floor. I'm gonna go this way because I believe this is where the sacred thing is. I just duck it past this flavor. Oh, I'll do this. Actually, that buys me too too much time. Duck. Quack! That's my kind of duck. But also, it means it goes, ah, oh, you can't jump so you can't get out of it. Ah! I was like. Not an issue, really, to me. Boom! Oh, ow. <coughs> I think we got hit somehow. He hit me somehow. I'm not sure how, but he did it. I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna swipe you from this up here. What up? What up? I'm here. Whee. Yeah, come on. Come on. Bullseye. Nebu? Is it high? <laughs> Cheating method! <laughs> come on, into the blade. Oh, I'm going to march forward and. Oh, why is my march forward technique not working? I see your strike right here on my own. If this guy hits, if I can hit this guy here, it'd be great. No. This is a very strong technique. I just was like, no, um, no, 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 I will deny you the victory of taking me head, me head. There. You guys do realize I can attack you from here, right? I can actually do even better with that. I can't tell that I actually have got a range attack. What does it mean you're finding secret walls? Well, it was that way. Secret? What's down here? Hi. Yep, I think they're over. Ah, boing. I can actually hurt myself to give me gain further. Oh. I go for the whole section again now. Actually, no, no, I don't because I went round that way. I actually go for the other section though, where I got the jump up and down thing. Hmm. But I got curious and I want to go check out this. It's been a while since I've played the game, so I've forgotten entirely what half these secrets are. It's a secret!
She's safe. Yes. And yes, strangely enough. Your aim is really bad. There's something this way and I want it. I'm not sure what it is, but I want it. Ow. I'll take that hit. No, oh, no. Woo! Yep. Ow. Oh, that one entirely. I'm see when you first come here you only have like two or three swipes and then you have to stop but See your thing doesn't reach, mine does. I have a much bigger thing than you. You're safer than not being like that, dude. Come here. Huda Huda Fatality no, this is actually safe for doing this here. Slice, 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 slice. I will march forward and my candle held high and he can't hurt me because my candle's in front of me and obviously... Oh, no, 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 that's not supposed to work. Ugh. But my candle... Ow. Yeah. Yep, just for safety, I'm gonna do that. Ah, going back to the head. My oh, best one is part of this guy. Dodger. Boom. Ow. Oh, I got pinned, I pressed the wrong button. I went to press up and I did fire off the thing instead. Oops. I was, I swear, I did actually do a let's play of this and I did a good job of it. I did not die this much. Until later, then I died a lot. Go down for math. No way. Oh. You can't fly me there, fortunately. See, before you had the ability to punch those things, that would make that really dangerous. But once you get the ability to punch them in air immaterial objects like that, it just destroys them. I like this little cheese things like that where I can just do stuff like that and I mean see this is just have a pair of them for execution. I mean, I don't get any like favor or things back for doing that. Bang! See, before you couldn't do any of this. I still think my thing should have beat your thing. I 
frustrated with my own HP for no reason. Yeah, these things, they're not so, these guys aren't so dangerous because, well, I just do that. And they've got to hit me at close quarters, and, you know, they can't do that. Alright, this way it's to gain, uh, other guilt, which is down here. I'm not even sure where this is going, but I want to find out. Well, uh, yes, that will hit. Alright, I'm gonna do this another quick heal up here because this for this. Go me! Yo, all that for an empty bile flask. Bile flask. There, bile flask. I now need to find the person who refills them and I'm fine. Oh, this person's here. Hello. Oh, honey. Yes. Because you're always very helpful. That character will now be in the boss fight. Who's there? And now that I've gone down this way, I'm making wondering if I've gone if I remember where that other doorway went to. I think that other doorway goes to the sewers. Now remember this being here because it's a bit of an odd thing, but there you go. You go in here, and it teleports you around. Handy. Poon. Okay, if I have to see now. If I remember correctly, this, um, oh, this first guy. I think the one I've got. You know, I'm going to try putting this one first book character. The thing is, if you change your certain items as you go along, it makes things very interesting because you can suddenly start doing a lot of different tricks for your first bosses. See, originally you would only have like this, and maybe this, and half the stuff that I've got right now wouldn't be here. I 
yeah, that's why if you want to find the secret zones, you wear that thing and it goes bing. I don't have any rosary beads, unfortunately, which is a little sad. I think that's why I've got this one, which gives me like protection from everything. I got some serious weapon. First boss boss, well second, no, second boss. <sighs> Seriously. Thank you. I like that. Thank you very much. I just don't. Can I even power you? Yeah. Phantom one. It really should have actually won that fight. I know, but you know, I, I, just, I, I thought that was tough. This, I thought this guy's methodology. However, I think he's been graphically enhanced. I don't think he looked that good the first time I met him. I would have to check my own let's place for this. This game is cruel enough to actually put your um, things in the middle of the boss fight where you died. It's supposed to be like a trick unit for one character and you can sort of cheese them. I think it's like a boss near the end, you play the eyeball thing and you can see the health bar and you cheat, so it appears you cheese them and start cheating them with uh, range attacks. I'm gonna actually try blocking the attack at some point. Yeah, I can block it. Just keep doing that one, I can block that one. I don't know about that one. Sure, go for it, heal me. Oh, thank god I can block that. They didn't block that. I really should have healed. Or try to actually, you know what I should have done was um, skipped under his leg when he started going up and uh, got to the other side of him. Cause I sort of backed up into a corner there. Uh, annoyingly, my guilt's gonna be on that side of the room now. Now, if only I could get like something that gives me power for tears. Oh no, it's putting me here. Oh, how handy. It always puts it just before the boss fight. No matter where it appears, it puts it just before the boss fight. Again, I want a beast tree so I can see who these guys are. There's gonna be a beast tree to tell me actually what this guy is. Ten ped pedant. Oh no, you don't. Got memory of the book. Oh, that's the first time I've done that move, actually. Heal. While he's over there. Um, 
Too late on the healing. I, I like pointing that out. I don't remember that when you do the stomp thingy, don't bother trying to jump it. Just, um, slide. Just slide on through. Also, remember to actually use the lady who blocks damage ability. When you get the chance. Ten pedan. I try to slide, but I couldn't bother. I just jumped over there and just get punched in the face. Here you go. Heal, please. Get out of that corner. You hit me with a spit, spit shot from that distance. I will learn my lessons eventually. Ouch. I just got... he just spam me. I was trying to hit out of the air. He just went... I died of being spam. I die with... I really need to find the person who increases your vial... vial vasks. Flasks. Or health. There's things out there where you get them, you go to the altar and it like increases your health, your general if health pool. Which in this case I think would give me four five blocks of health. So a single hit is literally always the dose one thing. Cheating. Nope, 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 no, 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 I think he's angry. Yeah, he's talking. <sighs> Thankfully, he didn't have like a Hulk mode. I feel like I was cheating on that one. Requiem Eternum. Eternum. Booyah. And he goes poof. He's finally put the rest. Thank you, lady in the back. Thank you, pretty lady. 
And now you gotta do this to this guy. It's always that guy. Never changes. Oh. This place is creepy. It's like a sea of ashes or dews being swallowed up by ash. There he is. Yeah, I seriously don't think you're some a good guy. Pious. A secrecy of what looks like ash. Makes you wonder if this place is that if they are literally just living in a dream world. Wound of attrition. Oh no. What does that one do again? I'm sure these things did something. Mark left by the golden visage that reveals the clean cleanliness of attrition in his soul of penitent one. But that's about it to be honest. Santo Credo verse one. His holiness, because of his high penance, must endure suffering in his soul in three ways. Each of the ways is a motive, and each motive is a sore. Hence, these three sores are the key to his eternal pain, and must be guarded. You'd think you want to get rid of that. You know, just turn around and go, yeah, well, no, I'm, I'm going to get rid of this. No, I'm, I'm going to get rid of it now. Thank you. It'd be nice if they actually changed the visages so they looked different. Right, this is the discrete cistern. Which are... Wait, then where does the door up here go then? I think I'm gonna backtrack and go up. I see I have to go up. Yeah, I can just dive through, get through here again. Mercy of mercy dreams. You're literally just an entombed dude, dude. I can't even say you're a, that holy. You're just entombed. You're less holy and more, you know, enshrined, to be honest. It's a bit obvious I'm not much of a believer in religion. Mostly because I see what the religion has done in religion's name. The greatest atrocities are done in the name of the name of the holiness. I can't get that guy for this. I'll get you though. <laughs> now he floats just a little higher than my hitbox goes for. But without his helpers, he is very much. Without the bodyguards to help out, they are. You are literally not hitting me with that rubbish. Come on, I am. Come on, float here. Float closer. Come here, you. I 
I don't get anything back from that. Except a cinch. Come on. <laughs> I am a holy entity and I cannot be hit. Well, you can hit me from the ledge. Well, I stabbed, I stabbed down. That's a good point. I, I kind of stab down. I don't really stab upwards or sidewards. I go downwards. Hmm. I may have noticed a slight flaw in my battle plan. Mostly the inability to actually hit you in that particular angle. If they try and float away, throw a blade at them. Oh, now this has changed. This is really a crack in the wall, this. I can't get through here. Interesting. I will call this Lady Baba Yaga. Hello. You can't sell most of your wares. I could have bought them already. Lady, you've got more stuff in your back than I have. I mean, seriously, you could like just walk around. You don't need to worry about being robbed. Just walk around, like turn around and like knock five people out. Huh? <laughs> don't turn, make a turn around. Oh no! Hello, Candelaria. I don't know the thing. Treasure. Singular. It's a key. Key to the chamber of the eldest brother. Brother of the Brotherhood, but has, was evidently lost, thus forever sealing his chamber. It opened. Cheap enough, mate. Bye, Baba Yaga. I know that's what you call just knowing what you call yourself, but that's what I'm calling you. I always said that accent. I always said that accent. Okay, well, let's do it with this one. Now, if I want to go back home, teleporting would be the quickest. It'll pop me out here, you see. You always got stuff in the cistern that you can do? Well, I can do, because I've got the, um... There's no boss in the cistern. But I believe it's the route you take gets you to the next location over here. Which makes me wonder if this one up here was supposed to be the third in the line or the f I always do it second. I really should unlock Albero's thing, but getting back out here is pretty easy and I can Come back another time. I wonder if I'm gonna find the thing I need to actually do the do that guy's quest. I mean, it's out of think you there's things around, so and yep, penitent one. You are where is the penitent one anyway? Oh, he decided to go up the other way. No. Oh. That wasn't really the rules, to be honest. Wasteland of Buried Cathedral. Dodge! Haha! -ha. Dodge! Now, there's supposed to be. Well, there's, there's new stuff in this. Because of the um, arrival of a certain character, 
Though I don't know when or how to trigger her. That's just hilarious, like they walk through that constantly. They don't think you're like just back step away from it. The miracle is up a cheek and I will agree. Because what it asks you to do is really stupid if you ask me. Anything that asks this of a person is really just asking for it. Oh! Required empty golden thimble. No answer. Do I need a now tongue or something? Or oh, he, he just now changed to that. Oh, they changed it. Hmm. I'm going to quickly equip this thing. Just... No, wait, no. No answer. Okay, we'll try the now tongue then. No answer. He is now, like, completely free. First met him, he wasn't completely free. That's what you call... Attention to detail if you bend the whole bars to match someone's like outline. I won't go in here because it's got stuff. Incense garlic. It's got what I want. That's why they're going to be annoying, because they're going to... See? Now the root is above me has grown. This way, anyway. These guys are less dangerous than the other guys. Annoying, but less dangerous. You just wait until they get close and they just like bop, bop them. Because they do that stunt, and they just march towards you. That is literally their trick. Hi. Go away. Thank you. I don't remember this. I must have been here then, got it. If I dropped now, I would go straight back to the beginning section of this area. But yeah, yes, we're having like the Nal tongue is useful because you can go through that bit. And you can cross the path you couldn't cross before. I just get pelted from behind. How old? You can jump this way and go hop, and you can just run around here. Doop, 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 doop. And you get off. Why I couldn't go up a two inch step, I do not know. And then the next creature in here was a bit of a pain. Not 
so much of the pain as the, another character. You still wait for him to get close and you. You still bap him on the waist. Essentially, you just step out of the way and then hit him. Now well, there's the alchemist guy who's around here. There he is. Next floor up. Thankfully, he's um. I have to myself more harm. Oh. He will fire off that attack. How long can you come a little closer? Definitely put this do quick bile heal so I don't die to this dumbness that is him. Because I can guarantee you, if you didn't do that, I'd jump down and he'd go throw a rock and pelt me in the head. Which would be embarrassing to die to him. Not quite okay, yes, granted, I did die to the slime monster at the beginning of the game. I can't move, I'm going the right way or not. I know the way up and the way down. I died because I dive bombed into him. Whoosh! I should really put the thing on that protects me from being hit. Hurt when I dive into people. You know what? I think I might just do that because I get killed more often from hitting people, touching people, than I am from actually dying anywhere else of time. Let's just go get rid of that annoying problem. Shane, you talk to that guy and he goes, oh, Save me, penitent one, from my problem. I am cursed here. Unable to get what I need. To feel the warmth of the ghoul thing on my flesh once more. No, flagellate yourself over there, mate. It's not healthy to begin with. Unfortunately, that doesn't count as touching this on his attack. And there's this next one. I know the man that had to learn how to do the, um, yeah, you feel bad, dude. Bleh. You know what? I am happy you stood up there, cause um, ow, a little bit. Oh, a lot. You 
can't hit me through a solid rock. I want jump up. It's not a case of touching him, it's a case of his, that's his attack. Think of that guy, that's an attack for him. I can't remember why it was important I came this way. I know there's something I got from doing this. I thought I had a thing that stopped me from getting hurt by touching them. I got the wrong button on. Did I get the wrong ability? Hold on, check me, check me things here. Uh, see, only waving conviction should from from damage through contact. Apparently, then that guy's whip counts as attack. He was a person, trapped in a tree, and now he is a tree. Okay, that's part of my combo. Gotta time it, press it upwards correctly. Great time. Yeah, that's his attack. Oh, a lot of. Bam! And grief, I've been. That's not as embarrassing as getting killed by being spat on by a boss. Idle animations, baby. I forget entirely that his downward bit is a counter attack. I managed to go the last time not getting hit once. This time I've been smacked repeatedly. I don't have the feeling it me health. Come on, jump at me. Darn, you didn't jump. Oh, I hope you jumped. See, if you da if you dodge that too soon, he will then definitely fire the other direction. It's part of his mechanic. Which is a little on, on the annoying side, because... Oh, I didn't trigger the other one. I mean your toe your butt is toast, baby. How you come out of the rocks in the middle of a plat wooden platform, I do not know. Physiologically that's not possible. See, you can get info on bosses, but you don't get They should travel quite a distance. Ow. This is what makes it so hard the next bit rather awkward because of these things. Nope. No. This is an all-encompassing attack! Yeah, there's no angle of defense against it. Ah, oh, 
and died from that. I was trying to poke him when he wasn't getting closer, but he didn't get close enough to be poked. And his attack came from just the right angle to get through the get through that. <laughs> On the plus side I got the remains, which was what I needed from there to actually continue. Her quest line. That quest line for that one. Bit sad I can't talk to that guy again. But he's dropped the golden thimble on the ground. So it makes me wonder if this time bringing in the stuff will actually reanimate him? I mean, that's the sort of trick the f miracle would perform. Seal someone up like that and then make them revive just so you can torment them some more. Oh, be too greedy, giddy mocks. Ow. Hmm, I think I can bait that out by slight dashing over them. Again, you gotta time that for just after he jumps and when he starts his throw. Again, I would actually love a beast tree or something to tell me what I'm actually killing. But there's nothing on there. You get no information whatsoever on the creatures you kill. I'm going this way to get my sen my guilt back. defense weapon. I could go all the way back over there but there's no point. I don't think anything's there. This is going to be annoying though if I have to keep killing everybody every time I come through the zone. Graveyard of the Peaks. See when that wind's blowing it throws you one way or the other. Went inside. Get inside! Okay, that off, that on. I rescued that one first. I get that one quickly, each and every time. And pray. Hey, Baba Yaga! You have like two bits. Uh. Nope, that doesn't really do anything. Mm-hmm. You are Ember of the Holy Criminate. Cremation. Cremation, sorry. Ember crystallized through long forgotten ritual. It maintains some of its heat of a bonfire lit on a different land. Tempers the heart, increasing the defense of whoever carries it. I don't think I can spend my money on anything else, to be fairly honest. I doubt that. I explain why you're blind. Torn bridal ribbon. This soft white ribbon used during marriage ceremonies has been torn, thus destroying its delicate embroideries. One of the free remains of an unfinished ceremony. The wounds inflicted by a broken oath rarely ever find healing. 
Dude, I'm like buying all your stuff. Bye. I never quite got how to get that one. I really need to unlock this thing first, best roll first, before I even attempt that. There you go, an immaculate bead. And that's what we need in order to start triggering this stuff. And for that, I need to die. So it may absorb my guilt. There you go, we've now unlocked the route down, the route up again. Going up. And just so I don't die when I do this, I have a silly stunt. Hey that, look at that. Hey, got ya. Whee! Hey, oh. You know, that's a really long way down. Whee! Have some garlic. Acquired linen cloth. It's a key item. A useless rag that seems to slightly vibrate at times, emitting an unintelligible buzz. The affliction sometimes leaves its mark on our mundane looking objects, unable to reveal the miracle under its mantle of corruption. For Bri Briel, as he was, he hardly noticed that someone had sat down next to him. A gentle hand patted a white cloth on his forehead. It was a fabric of the utmost softness, which allowed light through as if it were a sheet of paper, and was soaking his feverish sweats, providing such relief that could not be helped but fall asleep. When the cloth was soaked, the nun got up and handed it to the mother superior, adding, with this we will be able to have his confession. Ah, that sounds just like bad. Well, I think it now unlocks this thing. Yep, there we go. Time to go white. Woohoo! I'm gonna go past him. There are many of them. The miracle really is a butt cheek. Yes. I don't know if I ever actually finished this guy's quest. Oh, now that's an evil trick. Ah. I had the Tears of Atonement because I had the. because that. Essentially, what he just gave me was this Shroud of Dreamt Sins. It lets you listen to the dead. 
That is how you obtain it. And now you have to run all the way back to get back to here to open the door. back upstairs. Now I've got to do the most annoying section of the game. I actually no, not the most annoying section because I thought that was way more annoying. See if you go for it now you'd easily get the little cherub flying around. But yeah the mill there are people on the side of the walls. The walls through here? Oh yeah, him. You smash him and you gain access to his challenge. But yeah, the people carve statues. And... You know what? That will actually let me f fall down right now. Oh, I don't need the silver tongue thing. The now tongue, the silver dolphin trick is a little bit not what I need. If you hear you to talk and you go, oh, and you mention it. But now you have them out. I went to guard, it didn't guard. Now, thankfully, and you sort of time it to jump from jumps. If you do it correctly, you can get more boost. Let's destroy you. See, it'll also slow you down when you try jumping. That's why I'm wearing the linen, so I just fall down and I won't die. Ultimate defense! Haha, <laughs> you can't get through with my defensive wing. Well, if only this would actually work with bosses and like just stun them whenever they try attacking me. Ultimate defense! Oh jeez! If I jump now, I would be slowed down. Potentially enough to... In it. He will... That guy will actually reach out and attack you. Well, let's see if I can't remember exactly the path up. No cherub above me. Bong, 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 bong. Nice try, wind. I think this is the right path. Oh, is the path to get secret of the evil direction? Woohoo! It works in all directions, baby! You cannot get me! I am defended by the ultimate attack! I mean, for cash building, this is fantastic! For completion, this is absolutely annoying. See, if I jump now, I'll be out of luck. But if I jump there, like that, you mind that was cheap. I was picking the object up and you went and did that. I was actually hoping to land on the thing below me. Oh, 
So I'm going to wait for the wind to blow me in the other direction and then make a jump. There you go. Another empty bio flask, which is nice. Got two of those now. It wouldn't matter if I dropped down to the bottom now, because I would actually survive it. Woohoo! Wait for the wind to change direction. Really? See, that's the ultimate defense technique, people. Forget every other style, forget every other technique, you just have to swing upwards. You can't get there unless you have that item. I don't know if I actually have to be able to jump. If I jump from there, would the um, other route come out fast enough to catch me? Yes, it does. Ah. I can't remember if I got poison root here or not. No. Nice. Bead of gold thread. What is it in here? A ball made of liquid gold spun in into fine fibres. Viscous to the touch, these miraculous strands are avidly coveted by alchemists and scholars. The passion woven into each fibre blesses each filament, sorry, seeps into the sacred bio flasks, accelerating their use. Ooh! So essentially you can use them faster, which is very handy. Because quite often I get punched in the head when I'm trying to use them. It can be most disconcerting when you're trying to heal up and then you get belted in the head by someone. It kind of defies the point of healing up in the first place. Let's read your thing. A miracle, a miracle occurred in front of me. I found her lying on the floor. Her face was pale, as if dead, yet relaxed and at peace. Next to her lay the bodies of four women, covered in gold that shone and illuminated the room as if lit by an inter eternal fire. From where I stood, I could hear the beating... I could hear the beating of those five hearts. They echoed in the room, slowly sounding in unison. There were golden threads at my feet, all over the, all over the room. They seemed to be attached to those golden bodies. I took apart, took up part of that thread and made a ball. That would be proof for the others to believe me. Well, actually, what happened if I just jumped to drop from here? I'd probably land somewhere down here. I have the wind is not blowing here. I do have the safe from "Don't Die If You Fall" trick. We. Bye. I just came to fight you! Yeah, I had to leave. Whoa! I was mid jump, and the wind caught me. That's what I was saying before when I said the wind can hamper you in this, in this state. Because it has a nasty habit of blowing you in the wrong direction. Ow. I 
I need to find the. There's a pers there's a thing you can go to, and it will give you new bile flasks. Bile flasks. <laughs> Defense! Ah, I am not protected from anything. Nothing may get to me. For this arc is stupidly large. Now that's actually a better trick to get through there, because. Right. Forget that. Okay, so I've either gone that way instead of really going up and across the next me some goodies. There's a thing here, but I can't access it for now, right now. But there is indeed a oh the biofast for really this way. Or do I have to drop down from above to get to the Cupid? thing that you get in the cage. Again, I want a beast tree so I can actually know what I'm killing, because... Uh... Ah, he got me, he, ch he chased me down. That was unfortunate. When did I last save, anyway? Oh, a barrel. That's not too bad. I just hop on the lift now. Hi, guys. Did you die again? Yeah. You're very immortal, you know that. I noticed. For someone who's supposed to be, like, penitent and all this lot, I mean, it's, and all this, I'm incredibly immortal. You'd think that enemies, if any enemies didn't like remember you did some remember fighting, it's like the will of the miracle is strong here. It grants the uh, the ability to keep coming back. I feel slightly cheated. My ability is to shoot fireballs. You can apparently immortal. The shooting fireballs are pretty cool. I won't deny it. Fireball shooting is fun. Ah, I got you. How much stronger my blood attacks are if, I, if they kill them in two hits? Well, they get a little detonating explode upon the ending. Go on, throw. This up strike thing is turning out to be a fantastic defense against these guys. They, unless they come from below, they can't do anything. We. That's going to be like six strikes worth of damage they can get inflicted upon them. Now I'm going to trigger this guy now so he can do this and I can start wailing on him. Now I'm protected, able to protect myself from all harm. I should really show off some of the other prayers you can use. Come on, come down. I will get you. I will figure out a way past your impressively good defense strategy. Hmm. That was actually pretty good. No idea, thanks. So, but pretty good. Now, I had a discussion with my friend about Sang Song and a certain guy who uses his work. Watch 
out for is that this wind will blow me towards him. And while it, this technique works against this guy, not so much against the other guy. Because doing that, it was just, just fine. Now I can't cross this without the wind blowing me in the other direction. Come on, dude. You know you want to try and come after me. Now, I may have skipped over things. Possibly. But there is an item up there, so I feel I'm justified doing this. Oh, he got me. I think he's literally struck right between swings. Whee! I think this is actually the, end, the top of the. I think this is actually the top of the section. Which means that for the thing I want, I have to go somewhere down here. I'm gonna explore, just take the pop out the top of this and bit here and see what I get, what I get to. Ooh okay, didn't know that was there. Ooh. With that, I get more fervent. Further has been increased, and by doing so, I think I can now actually activate that ability twice. And which probably now is probably a lot of time to do this, but I'm going to swap it out for a different ability. And I want to show them all off. Delibar of the Lights, plant for starters. That's the of the light. You fire it up, it goes bloop! And it obliterates people. Good for taking out people above you. Wait, 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 You're no match for me. Now let's get going in the other direction. Come on, blow me! Whee! All I'm missing actually is a kite, is a kite. Yeah, this gonna be what I think? Yes, it was. It put, that's, this puts me at the top. Then you sort of run across and you get to the next area. I obliterate! I wonder how far you actually get with that attack. If we actually go down through several floors. Okay, since I'm stood here, I'll show off the Juan. Turn around. I actually managed to hit that, get that mid strike. I got that mid strike. It was like, twing twing. <laughs> that was fun, actually. I can't believe I actually got that mid strike. That's why I come this way. The only way to get that tier of anointment. And there's a thingy chair below me. Um, 
Yeah, you need to go for the carpet thingy to slice and dice that guy below. Oh, he'll somebody respawn it. I missed. I'll go all the way up now to get get it. I'm gonna heal up. I'm just gonna stand here for a minute or two, you know, heal up. Um. Oh, I put the control down and I hit the. F I think I hit the. Yeah, I hit the slide. I was gonna stand there and heal up for a minute or two, and then it, I hit the slide. Hit the slide, and it just shot me down. I'm gonna climb back up again. Oh well, full health. Wow, that wasn't good when they said it would heal. It just gave you a lot of regen. I'm trying to block that, but I'm. Can't hit him. Bleh. Darn it. I literally turned my head away to, to look at the other screen. I literally turned my head to look at the other screen and I shot off the edge. On the plus side, I sort of stay spawn here now, so... Yay! Not quite so long a trip back up. At the moment I don't have access to the rosary thingy because I don't have the... You drop already. That is really powerful. I don't know why it's so powerful, but it's powerful. Also, who designed this pilgrimage? I think the whoever designed this is the worst design in the world because you know you can't be a pilgrim to the area. Because you, what if you can't climb? You'd be suddenly going like, I need to go visit the um, nun at the top. It's like, of course. All are welcome. You need only climb up this mountain. Wait, what? Climb the mountain. Obviously, you must be able to climb it because you, you know, you're coming to the pilgrimage. I just think I can climb the mountain. I actually just realized something. If I have the, if I use the blow thingy I can I'll miss that entirely. This or this, Toronto my, my sister will do the job. But I need the fear. I could just sacrifice a bit of health for that. I don't think I'm generating enough of it on smacking this guy. Come on. There you go. Let's wait for the wind blowing in the other direction. Whee! That's what I was doing before. I think the second I turned my head away to you know do something else, it went and did, it pushed me off the edge. Now this one is a useful one because it regenerates your health. Now 
This one makes you hit, increase your speed. This one makes your blows more stronger. I think the game is not cruel enough to um No he's cruel enough to do this though. I thought I could jump on the f ledge catch, I've got to tell you you can't ledge catch those things. I can knock you off a ledge, but it won't let you um, parry off a ledge. Because then it just punishes you for getting too close to a ledge. And if the enemies push you that way, you can't go a choice. Ah, uh, boing, 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 boing. These are my things I've got collectors shortened. I cannot remember, for the love of me, where the thing. You can. There's a. Um, the lady you can meet, I don't know if she's still there or not. But she's the one you need in order to increase your, increase your health. You know, using that to get rid of them is so much easier. I do like my outfit more. The black garb of the black. Which way the wind blowing? That's alright. This way! Can you cross before the wind? Change of mind. Damn it! <whistles> Bonk. <sighs> Quite a few times. I even reached the top at one point. Came back for collectibles. Well, they didn't guard, apparently. I decided I'll save my fervor this time. And bad enough that I've fallen down that pit so many times, I'm not doing it again. You cannot get past, dude. Okay, you, you it's just not impossible. Only one man has managed to pierce my defense. And that man was not the. Oh boy, boing, boing, whoop. Hey. Boing, 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 boing. Whoop. Hey. You know what? I was gonna use this thing, but I'm switching to this. So I'm gonna shoot him from here. Ah, oh, I didn't kill him. Shame. I'm supposed to have the thing that the gate's being contacted. Oh, 
I hit you. And it, I suppose that's the thing that negates touch. Touch damage. I swear he just touched and killed me. So, um... Did it not work for him? I mean, I've run into the other guy. Actually, no, it must be working, because I ran into the other guy. And he didn't hurt me. But I ran into that guy, and it hurts me. So, because he's a touch... His attack is touching you. In appropriate ways. Or well, appropriate for him, anyway. Stop hitting me lad! I am supposed to be penitent here. I just use all my wild bass 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 up again. These guys are way tougher because they used to die a lot faster. You know, the sheer fact they're relentless should like. Should negate their strength because it means I have it becomes unfair to the player. Of time to take him out. Yeah, that's how you gotta do that one. Now, again, the other methodology I think is using the um, like thing like the bow attack or whatever to light to um, blast them from below. See now. Uh I think this actually my point over here. Yes, finally. Refill empty bile billary vessels in exchange for five hundred thing? Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Oh again. I saw health and bile vessels for in change of two thousand. No, I don't think I need to right now. See, I don't think I've got any more empty vessels. No, I do not. So there you go. We have refilled our vial thing. Our billowy vessels and got on ourselves a whole heap load of stuff. We are now... Yes. <sighs> You know, doing like a more prey prey pose. Still cool. Let's see. Well, this door here goes somewhere. You have more health. Die. Sorry. Mine. I'm 
Yeah, plus I got the point. Bone of the Inquisitor. Yeah, I think that's all I can get. So I actually need to go back up to the Earth room and then up. But at least I increased my vial blast blasts. It's I think it's down this tube here. There are more room. There are rooms here that you can access that will grant you more health. I'm sure I saw her around is somewhere. I can't remember which Up you go. I'm not sure why he's actually sat there at wall, because you don't need to actually go anywhere near him, you just climb up above him. I just like doing that because it's good practice. Hoopla, hoip, hoip. Come on, blow me the other direction. Whee! This guy makes more sense because he's um, blocking the wall. Excellent. Yep, just gonna kill you. mechanic makes this an annoying section rather than a dangerous section. Now the poison section in another part of this game is a... <laughs> you can lose a lot of health. I'm not even sure how it'll function in this mode. You blew me off. Just in case. I don't know if they've decided to add some anything here, but looks like they haven't added anything here. Oh, nope, cutscene. <sighs> <sighs> Keep your protection your sister's offering. By the sound of it, it's been helping. That's, um, creepy to say the least. Oh, wow, look at the background stuff. Looks like the guy is getting slicing himself. I told you, the miracle is a bit of a butt cheek. And I think until I meet the Stir of Dawn guys, I, the alter, the game doesn't really change much until you get past a certain stage. Ah, uh, see. Stuff in directions. They're yeah, not that dangerous. The annoying flea men are not. Wow. Too dangerous. The flamethrower guy on the other side, I don't know, on the other hand, that one on the other hand is dangerous because he throws fire. Again, they're another touch type enemy. Well, that was well aimed. Now, I have already. Okay.
Okay, I now know how to get through this door. Ah. Yay! This was the one I missed. This is the only heart I missed of this entire thing. Heart of the Unnamed Minstrel. So a sword core forged amidst ballads of forbidding verses. Can be inserted in the mere coupler, reduces the duration of the parry, but eases the execution of a righteous riposte. Mm. The heart of the unnamed minstrel. Sing for me, can to Cantoro to Cantor, and may your song relieve my pain. Those were the words written on the tombstone. There lay one who prayed by singing, creator of verses that one fateful day reached the wrong hearts. And even if we no longer hear his voice, and no one calls his name, his singing will remain with us forever. Okay, so the guy was doing a good job, a good work, and he got punished for it. Sounds familiar. That sounds really familiar, because I think that's happened a lot. Like to literally everybody who's ever been in this place. Bad things happen every time. I will sing the choir that gives life to the miracle. And where is he going? Shortcut. That's right, I'm going to here. Oop. One. And not to the rosary rope, which I really need for later. And are you here? Yes, you are. Hello. Cutscene. That's just painful. Maximum health has increased. I can now take five hits and die. Woohoo! I'm happy. I actually slightly am happy that I take her pain away. If she gets healed or healthier each time I do that, then so be it. Because again, the miracle is a butt. He will come towards you and he will try and flame throw your butt. Now I should actually show off what this one still does, does, but at the moment I haven't taken any damage. This is where you get killed if you have, don't have the poison lung, the lung reducer. That's a bad room. That green miasma mist around that lady is poison. And you can imagine what happens if I walk through that stuff. Going up. Uh, I think there's actually something down that way. Yeah, you know what? Let's go the other way and get that where was down there. Because we can just do this. Take that off for now. Equip that. And then laugh as I go for all this poison. How are you... How do you do this? You're in the poison! Yes. Come on, into the flame. 
it should kill you. No, it doesn't do anything to you. I feel cheated. Ooh, never done this. Ooh, ow, ooh. Yeah, I don't really, really want to look dead. <coughs> nice to get for um, hurting the Pentum one. Oh, I saw this one equipped. I thought I equipped that one. <coughs> so I get a bit froggy folk there. Yeah, we need to get to the rosary person who can increase our number of rosary bees we hold, and then we can have a lot of stuff. Surrounding objects. Ow! I remember that thing does that. I unfortunately just get a thing for this. Strange that that's the only one that doesn't tilt, twist. Unless I kill. Oh wait, no, I think I killed the guy who was pulling the rope. That's why there's two course explosions. I got the one that was pulling the rope. I still feel cheap that the old, that the lady took no fire damage. Granted, their thing maybe it got the mask protecting from fire, but mine don't. I have got I got the golden mask thing and it doesn't protect me from fire. Woohoo! Miss me. I'm not getting barbecued. Whoa! Oh, no, no, don't. Ow. It so sort of slid a little bit. There you go, that's the one that's doing it. And apparently they turn to ooze. Maybe oil monsters. I'm gonna phone up for that. Just smack you. Can't get the other guy, but I can get got the, the leaping frog thing though. Ah, oh, not quite high enough for it just to to bounce out. Boing, boing. Oh, just get past that one. Uh, I think I fall down to here. Yeah, I think you fall down that way. You know you've reached a boss when you get to a certain zone. There's always a thing before the boss. Well, he fell down to the tomb. I like the boomerang effect on that. Oing, oing. I mean, you yeah. bouncing little. You know, I am literally. I'm going to stand over here so I can regenerate my health. I'm not stupidly going to sit, walk over there this time. I thought she was going to attack me. Instead, I'm striking a pose. I am the penitent one. What is your penance? Silence. Um, how did you just say that then? I have a narrator. You have a what? A narrator. It um uh, allows me to talk without actually moving my lips. You mean like the... Wait, wait, no, you're just talking... You're moving your lips, but you're saying it in the narrator's voice. No. I 
Yeah, I can't remember what's actually down here. There's two entrances on this. See, either that. We've got quite a ranger as well. And why did you just say with my dive stashing slashes? I will get you on the other side of that wall. You know that, right? I'm coming for you. Tinka, 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 tinka. Ow! 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 That's gotta be cheating. What do you mean? Ah, oh, that's right. If you go through that side door, upper door, it just leads you here. So you jump straight to that flame floor there. So better than dealing with this lady. Die bomb. Well, that thing's falling down there, so... If in doubt, die bomber attack. Uh, super tricks me saying I got that one equipped. You yeah, have. Quick bit of bile flask healing. It's not like the original one, the original thing, you just go bloop, you get straight flat out health regen. But now, because you've got certain hit points, essentially I've got five hit points. Which I thought, I must admit, actually makes it more of a, a retro game. Instead of having health bars, it, usually, it goes back to when you like had five lives. Or five damn points to get things done. Just get my health back. Excellent, all health returned. Right, so I'm going to slide through here and stab at him. Yeah, like that. It's actually super powerful. There's actually ash everywhere. You are being stubborn. I did all that for Seer's Anointment, which means there used to be something nice there. Nice, it's down. I just activated that, which was a bit foolish, because the deactivate only gets in this floor. Lovely. I think going through here, yep, lets me this shortcut to get back home. Get back to this, the altar. Always activate your shortcuts when you find them. But yeah, if I didn't have the, the lung, the silver lungs, this section would be much harder, going through those poison zones. And them on the other hand...
they will kill me. They will flat out kill me. You know, way faster and sooner than the Fireboys and everything else. They will get me before everyone else does. Because they zap you. Long range. I don't know how to dodge or stop their attack. Them? No problem. I can get them with the greatest of ease. Thank God I have regenerative, the regenerative power of these vast, flat, these vile, vile flasks. But yeah, they those are more annoying because I don't know how to actually stop or block their attacks. I mean, these guys just, you know, they they jump. These guys just have a really, really long range. And they have an annoying ability. Done. I started dodging there, but I didn't dodge in time. Right, that takes me out. That's a door up. Right, finally I'm going to show off this one. For a limited amount of time, Every time you hit people, it regenerates your health. Yes, I did just do all that for a bone. For a bone. And given I've got the thing set up so it has to continuously go through these doors again, and then we spawn back, respawn, everything in there is going to respawn again when I come back in. Great, that stopped my heal ability. Ah, that's lovely. One tap and I'm dead. Come on, what's over here? Ah, uh, I hate that, those things. If I knew how to block them, I'd block them. But I seriously can't, do not know how to block the little buggers. Now, thankfully, I know how to get back there quite quickly. Thanks to the fact I got this thing. So I cut half the travel time out. That was me rushing, and I sort of ran in there head headlong and got myself slaughtered. <coughs> I even got to the stir of dawn 
DLC stuff yet, and I haven't found the Suffering and Strife DLC yet. Again, don't really don't like those guys. Wait, am I just attacking strong or something? I got sworn this was the prayer was what will need you to heal. Uh, yeah, we will revive vital energy for every hit they land on the enemies. What? And then again, I've now got a hit point thing system, so I don't think that actually works anymore. Okay, better use this one. Uh, let's go for something more more destructive, shall we? The Canto Juno. Because that just goes boom and kills everything around me and I'm a big boom. I mean, I could technically do the raise my favor by using my surviving my health, but given it's my regen is not the same as it used to be. Okay, let's do that so I can back him and come down here again. How do you block the wax lady, I wonder? There's gotta be a way of doing it. I'm actually safe. I can now do the gong of Juno. Oh god, for the blue wax speed. Ah! Oh, I didn't realize I only have one health point left. I'm gonna go all the way back there to get my thing. I hate those things. They just go boom and zap me. Haha, <laughs> I'm blocking here. I'm just gonna say and get this thing to make, make it own loop, kill it. Again, I gotta go through here to get the favors. Well, I might like this cycle spot. 
Do so there constantly. I'll just stick here and do this. It'll come back down eventually. You are the most annoying enemy in the game. Actually more annoying than these things, because they just go boing. You on the other hand dive around zapping me. I'm gonna attack that I don't know how to block. And I think stuff that stops you from getting hurt, taking X amount of damage, don't work in this mode. Because, um. Hey, that's where you get the, wax, the blue wax from. Which would make a blue bead. Yes, I went through all that trouble for something I can't even pick up. Because blue wax bead does exactly what the red wax bead does. You know what? Ta da! Take that. Ow. She's got greater range than I have. I like that Gadong attack, it's very handy. Also. Did that. But yeah, my Gadong attack is fantastic because it goes da -da -dong and kills everyone on screen. <laughs> Hello, people. Oop. You're here to watch me get killed repeatedly. I mean, I died to like the simplest of enemies. I died of all things to the guys who don't do anything but goop on the ground. Oh, I slid into him. I was trying to dodge his blinking zap zap attack. Ooh, you annoying people. That is what makes us so annoying. I don't. Try parrying, see if I can actually parry the attack or not. I mean, the one here, down here I can practice on. Okay, so I can't parry per se. So I can't parry per se, but. It sort of blocks the attack. Oh, I don't think I can sort of dodge it. Well, I should say the trick is it's not like it attack in the first place. Remember, Demon Arts, she's got that long. That thing is longer. And it works, both, works on the retreat thing as well. Just stand there and get some health back. 
still, that zapper is annoying. Now it's got a counterpart, which is an inky version. But to prove it all, they're as annoying as each other. You might want to moat for, like, annoying zapper zap. I think for her, as long as I like, die, dash through both sides, it, it will work, if it helps, I do. Two vials now, because I've got zapped. Now I'm going to show, show the um, uh, swing thing attack. Oh, yeah, she appears right above me. <laughs> Thanks! I'm appearing that spot. That spot like, was just perfect for me. One, two, three, off, off, off. One, two, three, off, off, off. This is a completely pointless exercise. So they just respawn. But it's principle. See, if I wanted to get the red wax candle, I would just come up here. And then I'd get this thing, and go, oh, get the little red wax bead, which would make my health go even higher. In this mode, it just gives you an extra health. This one's a little trickier because of the thing. That. However, he is stupid to stand right next to the ledge where I can hit him. Ooh, my helmet should be getting hot. Now this one I can't get with my um, insidious little... What the hell did I just try doing? I think I just tried throwing my punt an upswing. That's not gonna work, me. You have to jump and strike. Mostly because he's right there and you're gonna get him. Ooh, the flowers are there. They're the burning flower thingies. I wonder what would happen if I come over here. Hello. Cloister Sapphire. Ooh, there I am. This is new stuff. A crystal sphere imprisoning a sapphire heart. The gem sparkles with lightning from the other lands. From other lands. Filling the glass with stro stormy light. The strange energy fills the wearer with determination, electrifying the very air around him as he performs an execution. Ooh. Sounds interesting. Hello again. I hope I didn't miss you somewhere else. I 
think we're about to activate the DLC. Cool. Yes. New stuff. Awaken. Been there. Cool. Well, I guess we'll go there and fight him. Thank you. Came, see, last time like this was like blocked off. I walked in there and nothing in there. Now, stuff. Ooh, flowers. Pretty. And I am so happy for hell for that. Hello. You're looking much older now. Wait, is the miracle actually literally sucking the life out of her? That is really mean. I swear, the miracle is not very nice. I actually use her, use her for all of it. You can have her for other things. But she eventually goes poof. Which is her tail, I'm afraid. We have more health. Now we're up against this guy who is a bit of a butt cheek. I would attack both hands if I could. These attack patterns changed. Come here, you. Actually, okay, you know what? Wrong. You didn't do much damage to him. Haha. <laughs> you get so close to the ground, I'm just gonna smack you really, really hard. And the ability to smack through the immaterium is very incredibly helpful here. <laughs> I used to struggle like I struggled like chuffy against that guy last time. I could have saved her for an off boss entirely. She didn't even do anything. She was gonna sit there going like, hmm hmm, well then. I could have saved her for another boss entirely. Oh, this is different. Last time I came here it was a guy laying down in his bed. How nice that they've swapped these out. They've changed the icons. Hello, servant of the butt cheek. I would have at thee. Yeah, yeah. This is shorter than last one. Holy wound of compunction. I 
I feel sad now that I used the lady up. Golden thimble filled with burning oil. And what do you do with that ash now? Hmm. That doesn't, um... No. Okay. Number one. A young villager named Aura. Uh, had such a beautiful and pious face that even as a child, statue sculptures took her as a model for their creations. Her face became so recognisable that, little by little, people took her as the living, breathing image of divinity until it reached a point where they ended up taking her out on procession, and even replacing their own images. Such was the fav favour around her that she could not bear to be mistaken with the divinity, and burned her face with boiling oil to gift her pious beauty to God, and took up the habits of, the co of a covenant. Lady, you should have been just by happy at the fact that people thought you looked good, and that you were you're worth immortalizing stone. Santo Credo verse 3 The door to mother will open if the three wounds were to be joined together. The mother would suffer a crack. The enclosure would end up broken and the forbidden would be profaned. I would do wonder if this is supposed to be the second supposed to be like not done to like last. One more remains. Yep, the trio. Pull that. Give me a shortcut down. But I'm going to go this way. See, this way if you had a met there may be a couple of upgrades you would go whoop 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 and be giving that upgrades. Now it does actually go higher this building, but you cannot reach the final zone. The final area above me cannot be reached. You didn't do down strike. Look at that and go, oh yo, whee! And do that. Uh, yeah, dropping down actually is the fastest way of getting there. I'm heading for the exit. Get over. See, no problem, that guy. It's the one that appears and zaps me. But no, that poor lady, she literally burnt her face, burnt her own face because she believed that not doing so would be against God. Against the miracle, which is their God, so. I have no sympathies for, for the miracle. Oh, zoom out. Right, where we want to head next is... Actually, the thing just opened up over here. So I'm going to head over here. Pin. So an execution would be performed and then I'd be cracking with energy. Crackle, crackle, buzz, buzz. I actually hit the... Hit. Oh yeah, this was the other thing. I don't know, should really not waste that. In fact, because I'm pretty sure this boss is going to come up next, it's going to be a pain. I'm go Actually, this is a decent one because when you use it, it uh, damages anyone who crosses them. So it's, it's like poison mist around you. So enemies take continuous damage every time they stand coming anywhere near you. So 
very handy and apparently very cheap so I'm heading all the way down because I'm pretty certain I'd die if I drop through straight down again go away Might be an idea to just put on the thing that saves me for case I fall off. Just you know, um, just in, in case the completely not going to happen event should happen where I accidentally fall off the thing to my doom. You know, that complete non-event. Yes. Ooh, my God! You come back out quick enough. Am I not going high enough? Not now, because it's going to blow me back this way. I haven't checked the map doing this. I know. I had it. There you go. Do I go into my own dream world for this? Hello. Oh, ow! Well, so much weapon. Exemplars excommunicated. I find for my thing will be outside, but that was, um, nasty than I thought it would be. Hmm. Maybe a better idea to do. Hmm. I've got to be very careful that pipe. She dies around the room and shooting arrows. Poison thing might be an idea, but I think a better prayer is definitely this one because it stops all attacks. <laughs> again, I did the same thing again. I was went through that blinking room. I went through the same room and I well, the same results. This is going to be an interesting fight. It's not a problem I've ever seen before. That's a full health to go for it. Come on, but you'll lead. Get down here. Well, that's what we were like. Nope. 
I'm trying to climb up to get out of the way. I don't think I'm winning this fight. Miss me. Now, I am... <laughs> no clue how to... I think I'm going to come back at this... I'm going to crack at this when I have a little bit more health. Or a better stratagem on how to actually fight her. So I'm not going to go fighting her again. I put a marker so I know where she is. Let's take the shortcut downstairs. Oh yeah, I've got go she has got the grievous thing going on. My my grief is over here. Good point. Again, I could just go here and buy my grief off. Which is easier than going. Ow, I walked straight into that. I think half the things that neutral low your health damage output is um damage to your health is uh slightly negated by this aspect of only having a certain number of hit points. Because that archer lady is very annoyingly good. Ow, stop it. Stop it. Yeah, I've had a good use grief guy. Hello. Absorb me on my grief. I think I lose whatever charge I get built up before I lost. Did that? There we go. Me. Still, can't say I'm a huge fan of Archer Lady. She's um a bit harder to beat than I thought she was gonna be for the first one. Hey. I unlocked him there. Still, that is a chuffy fighter. I must admit, that's a one hell of a fighter. I was not expecting it to be that strong. Or that challenging, to be honest. Now, for the unfortunate, I do not have the warp point unlocked in Albero to go all the way back down to here in an instant. I have to take the long road. I should go back through here. Oh, then again, then again, I was going to um, go to the olive tree place, move us, and see if I, what happened if I went and dropped off the thing like last time. I've never been in here. What? Hello. I don't spend it much, to be honest. So I'll give you 8k. Make a donation. Nope. Actually, yeah, let's go, let's go back there and get rid of all the freeze. Do, 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 do,
Bonk. There you go. Have a donation. Not really sure what that does, to be honest. There you go. Then two of these cannon remain cannon remains. Yes. Holy! There you go. Tentudia's hair. I didn't read that one. I will read that. Oops. Is there anything else? Oh, the skeletal remains. Wow, did you find all three of it? I think I found all of it. And that and that, folks, is how you get uh help of the fawned dame. I think. What she gives you you got something, I'm not sure what can't remember exactly don't remember exactly what you she give you for completing this. But it's something that was um uh, supposed to make it so you could enhance you somehow. I don't know why I, I don't know what I just did from and now that the grave here. Feels like slightly wasted potential if they didn't add more There's one. Oh. Quick run through here. I did that to one corpse, it went and that's why it was like fiery death being. I don't know what that was, but now yeah, resume my ability to do that quickly. Missed that one entirely. For power, the healing, dog son of land. Just want to go to the item that lets you punch through shields. But yeah, we're going around and up because I can't go down from down down because there's a door in the way. Drop down here to find out if there actually is something below me. At least not without saving first. Because a long trip back here. And yeah, I'm going a long way just so I can see if what happens if I go drop, try and drop off the oil. It's actually the perfect. I don't know, this is actually a perfect spot to test out see if this is working or not. Oh 
it does work still. Yeah. That would also be a good time to check, see what happens if you had the other fund the necklace on and then execute somebody. Still, I don't like the actual lady. She's very strong and she kills me. Brutally. See, there's a thing you can get by coming up here after you gave him the oil. There you go. Oh, that's nice. There's no answer. You sort of leave and come back again, and then it's like to change the zone. Pretty. Dried flowers bathed in tears. Oh, I didn't know that was there actually. No, we actually have seen that before. Uh, olive tree petals, fortified by frost. Vitrified by frost. Tears of true bitterness prevented the cold from withering them completely. Now they're in offering never made. Lost in the snow before it could reach the sepulchre of the saint. Ooh. Well, I remember with great sorrow. Ingrecia was one of the us born in Albero, like you and me. She was peculiar, however, because every day, after a day of gathering olives, she stayed in the mountains while the rest of us left. Some said that they had seen her cry, and that is why we thought she stayed among the olive trees, to be alone with her sorrow. Many years of drought raised the land back then, but although the other crops dried up and died, the olive trees on our hill would not. They remained the best harvest to everyone's surprise. This gave rise to the rumour that the olive trees were being watered by the girl's very tears. One morning we found the girl dead, leaning on one of the olive trees. Whether she died of sorrow we will never know. We buried her in a small cave next to the olive trees where she cried. The next day the olive trees had withered. I can't remember, but I think it's around here. But you can pick up the thing from this. It's one of these zones. I never actually picked up the dried all the things before, to be honest. That's actually a new one for me. Let's go check over here, that makes sure I haven't missed it. I got the thing of anti-death, so it's fine. Hey! You can't hurt me now! Miss that one? Yep, yeah, quick well, heal. Got one. Got the other. Uh, 
the text is staggered. Requires a bit of work before it uh, gets it, but um, come on. There you go, that's the bit I was looking for. I need you back out there, but you gotta go this way to get to where we need to be. Miss, 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 miss. I've got sanguine on me right now. I just... There should be a. There you go, this is where she b you're supposed to come in. Oh, you have given the dried flowers bathed in tears. I got Tears of Atonement. Can't remember what exactly you get given for that. But she was buried down here. And given the location, it thi I think it's right about. I think the cave entrance is here? So that cave where it was like blocked before has got an entrance there. Very narrow shot, but I think you do that. Got ya. Yeah, it's a very tricky platforming, but you get a Thing. Can we wait you get exactly? Am I your? You are. They are very annoying because you only get a very small amount of time to actually pelt them. That's why I want to try avoiding getting the two of them together. But if you can time it correctly, you can deal with them. Can I remember how you. Not, I know you can do this from this angle, because this is how you actually get into the zone. If you don't. You don't have the um, silky thing that's dropped down from above. You uh, have to go this way, catch that, and then jump the other side. Yeah, I will eventually get this platforming malarkey down. Sometimes I've got fun to catch, and sometimes I don't. Also got this guy to kill. You cannot get past my ultimate defense. The arc sword above my head is a, the ultimate methodology of defeating you. There's too many of them. There we go. 
if they spread themselves out just enough, they can completely and utterly negate my ability to smack them. Or bait them out properly, because they ultimately, they simply time their jumps to be offset. No, we're supposed to jump here. Excellent. I think I got all of them. Now, I just need to get the jumping correct here, and I will get the item at the other end of the corridor. I mean, I could just leave, but I would have to come back up here anyway, because you know, it's the only other way to get here, other than dropping from above. And everyone I just killed will respawn. And while it's great for farming... I did all this for a bone. Yep, all that effort, all that hardship for a bone. For something I have already got the collection of once before. But I'm getting all now I'm here. Oh, let's refill my flasks. I'm not going all the way back here. Just go all the way back here. I have to drop down here anyway, and I need to go down and get this thing so I can unlock the fast travel section to get all the way back. Now, apparently, the DLC added um, the ability to teleport from the shrines. I can't go down... Actually, right, let's go down there. To go any other way would not be the right road. Again, I'm interested in setting up what happens if I just drop straight down. I have saved, so... Where do we end up? Ha ah, ha What the... Where'd you come from? An empty mile vessel. Nice. Now for this zone, uh, I don't think I need that one as much. I don't think I need this one as much. Well, this one actually serves you very well, but I want this and this because it's an annoying sector. Now. You think I have the sword that could cut through steel metal? Yeah, what I actually do is attempting this place from the opposite direction. Ow. Now those, those zombies behind me... Explode. The, if you didn't have the um, ability to walk, go through sludge... You would have trouble! Because you wouldn't be able to jump up! You would be pinned down there, unable to get through this section, because you would be going, uh, That's a waste of 
Spleen Zap Zap. Big Bang Attack. And this is the area that was locked off. Ta-da! So like I said, we actually came from a different direction. So we'll go down here, then back across here. Of course, we will be teleporting back and forwards, but that's not here, there. You go away. Let's go for this section again. Ow. I think I actually used the bell before I actually started this, like, this um, little online run. Oh wow. I stacked you all up in one spot. Now tell us we think I can retreat back to the lady who gives me Flying Smack. Flying Smack. Gotcha. Kaba. The flagellating guys in this place is not are not that dangerous if you can just do that to them. Now to get to the teleportarium, I have to go this way. Not fire my attack, but go this way. Safe point down here anyway, so. Da -da -da -da. Keep my so I go keep my eyeballs filled for those flower flowers. Oh. We'll go to Alberto, Alberto, because there's a thing here. A bouquet of time. Hi. You know, I'm here, I'm out of pay get paid for this. You know, I am a selfless hero and I don't do anything for money. Pay me now. Yep. Yay, my most intense anointment. There's a shortcut back into the cistern from here, but we haven't unlocked it yet. Apparently there's also um, more places you can fast travel to? I don't know. You guys epic fail. Now to get that, you're coming from this direction. Which requires you to get past the bridge. Let's run across here. Quick heal. Saving me and giving me vials. I've got a full feather gauge, so I'm gonna detonate wherever I come across. Again, you can put more in the background of this area, make it a bit more dreary. Like it's the poor guys really got suffering. I like the fact they changed the f second guy to be stood this face facing you. That's better than last time. 
Save. See, with that, it's a dead easy across there. Oh, I guess that's right. Now, if I come here straight away, I would actually gotten the health boost from here. Technically speaking, you should only have three, five swords in you. Not to be picky or anything, but you should really only have five. When I see you again, you should only have four swords in you now. Unless anything else in the sun, why not click those as well? Doing this with the. Come here, you. Come here. Oh. Oh. Hey, a bit of a lag there. I just wasted that again! Can't actually do anything other than wave that little bell. Wow, bit laggy here for some reason. This is literally a zone that leads you to the next area. There's things here, but there's no, um... Okay, apart from my inability to go through that without getting smacked in the head by drops of toxic sludge. And considering this is like a sister, unless it's like just become poisonous over time, I, you've got to wonder what on earth this people have been eating. Because, um, if this is your dietary issue, you got problems, dudes. Like, you got major problems. Your dietary just you guys really need to start thinking, hmm, long and hard about your thing. At least I'm like... I don't know if I'll really stop doing that before I swap out my equipment. I'm going to go on the other side somewhere. I'm heading up. I'm coming up. I'm going to escape this sewer because it does really smell. I'm coming up. And voila! We have now unlocked a shortcut back here. So if we wanted to go through that and then up, we're now in the right spot for it. Or if we need to go, you know, a path requires me to not teleport. I have now got it set up. Ow, I just lost the health I just gained. I 
just lost the health I gained. <laughs> now where I'm heading is to the Albedo shortcut. And getting this guy from behind. Ah! Look at that. Always has to deal with his sludge monsters. Now this is two different things. One, just go for the door to show you the other area. The Mountains of Endless Dusk. We are technically under the town of Elbero. How on earth are we over here? But that is the joy of a 2D map. I suppose if you thought it would make 3D, you'd be in a different sector entirely. Uh, checking... Room full of creepy faces? Oh, hello. Hello, Nathalie Minto. Wow, so one has growing, one has shrinking. Fast sacrifice, uh, tear of anointment. Here you go. I lost one flask. Cool. The power of fast has been improved. I don't have any quicksilver. He has like a face on his torso that's growing older, and th this head is grows younger. I do wonder if that was a bit of a moot point, moot purpose, to be honest. Now we're back in El Barro because we're time to go check out our uh, collection. Hey, you know, have some tears. I do wonder if that door opens. I think it does. But yes, there's a, I'm I'm pretty sure there's like a reward if you complete that. Choop, 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 choop. Hi guys, uh, I, I don't ignore the smell. <coughs> I just um, made a shortcut all the way from the sewers. The bronze frontier. Now there's way more on the discrete cistern to go find. And because I have, well, everything, all the extra little bits. I can find it, no problem, no time flat. Now if you get all the way back over here, you get the near teleportarium, which is down here, and we can then access the uh, Brotherhood of Silent Sorrows from below. Yeah, 
There we go. <laughs> we don't want the bronze frontier. Yet. See, if you didn't get this guy, you'd have to... Go. I'm not sure how you get in here without going through there. Is there a ladder or something in the middle? It's showing there being a way down. Yeah. Maybe it's way up from below. You are no match for me. But I suppose one does doth reserve a reward for their attempt. Okay, that was an ex accidental. Ooh, anoint me, baby. Aha! More, more further. I increase that any further. I think I'll be able to actually fire the general twice. The big bang attack twice. When I'm not wasting it with bum brushes. Okay, swing in here. Uh, double check. Yes, I have got the silver, silver lungs equipped, so this is actually completely helpful, useless to me. Can't hurt me. Yep, I got the wall. See, if we're out the lungs, just go, ooh, and very carefully duck, jump. I hope you didn't, you know, like, trigger something. You'd be like, oh no! You'd be trying to, like, stay up out of the smoke. But if you got the silver lungs, just walk straight through it. The Grieving Veil. Black Grieving Veil. All important pieces for something that's to have come. Ow. I've got to... Actually, I'd like to keep the Juno thingy, but quite frankly, right now I think I need to swap out to to Sangrium here. Otherwise, I'm going to run out of health. Oh, I can't get through there. I gotta go round. There's no point summoning that thing, dude. I have to go round. I'll deal with you in a second. That's a very quick drop for it, to be honest. But yeah, I am a bit dire straight, so I didn't heal. I had to do that, or I was going to get smacked in the, by the zombo. Block, miss, hit. <laughs> Well, I didn't want to explore through this way anyway, because I'm going back around. Well, I must admit, I got a little gung-ho. You know what, I think that's been half my problem. I've been getting very gung-ho. I'm treating this, still treating this like the um, normal version. The non-coveted version.
Collision. And in that version, I could just plow through this lot, heal up once, and be happy and walk away. But I only have a certain amount of hit points here. See? Poison, miss, we kill you. Because you couldn't jump high enough to catch this ledge there. So without two items, the silver lung, to get past this poison. You would never be able to get this bit. Which means you never open the gate. Never find this cherub floating around in the background there. Uh could should actually go up and get my weavens back going up. I'll just kill that guy back and come back down again. Uh, proof I can actually do platforming when I'm not messing it up. Would you mind backing up 10 feet, please? Thank you. Eesh. Not really grievance, it's guilt. Guilt for messing up that very simple fight there. Against an opponent I've killed hundreds of, quite literally hundreds of them. See, without certain things you cannot get to certain areas. So I would never be able to get through there to get to this area until much later in the game and I still got actually got this area over here to go search and finish off this bit down here. You have to take a long, long road to get around here. And this bit would never be able to go and you can't get to that bit unless you have the uh, thing to do that. I can actually open this now by the fact I have the now tongue. And this will give you the cha the chalice talisman. Chalice ta talisman? Chalice challenge. Which actually unlocks the final sword I believe. So you gotta kill one of those guys, one of those guys, and one of these guys. Do not drop down there. It's not good for your health. I have the thing that lets me just do that, but... I don't think... I think I need the thingy. Hold on, I think I need the, um, uh... Oh. Half do not return. Everyone passes. Two. Three. If I remember this correctly. And then one that way. There you go. Ta da! T. 
to the atonement because I already have the item. But I was doing the puzzle anyway. Didn't catch all of it. I have enough of that money hungry. I'm a hero. I don't want to know the heroes could be like mega rich. Yeah, I always leads me to the thing. But yeah, to complete the bone collection, you've got to go get everything. Thankfully, I've already done this once before, so I kind of know where I'm going. Uh, let's see. I could go... You know, the easiest way would be to go up and then across. You know, I'll spare you. If I am... Um, Benign like this. Let's see. Nope. Keep going up. Wing, wing, wing. Now. I think one of them swung an animation, the swing animation, but it didn't play. Yep, yeah, quick health up. They come back anyway. That door on that side I didn't want to go through. I came down, blocked you immediately, and parried you. Yep, I remember bits like this, so. Yay, make a bloody. Yeah, I got all my vials back. I had an empty one. I think I had an empty one, so I had a, just like I had a one to immediately refill the one I gave up. Drop it. Ow. I got the rat, which is weird. But hey. Hello. Juggling. I gotta stop doing that because I'm not getting the um doing the thingy with the talisman. Let's see, swap out red bead that. I'm gonna regret this when you know, stuff happens now. Any execution? There's another item, that was a key item for the complete the game. Zambra, the resplendent crown. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. Him intoned in the rays of the sun, which generously bathe in the darkest of places. This blessing increases the tears harvested by the mere couple for a while. Many yearn for these remainders of the miracle, but greed can prevent them from recognizing what truly matters. 
I cannot hold your hand, now you, that you sleep in the wind among the trees. I cannot speak to you, now that you're singing in the midnight so crickets. I cannot see you, now that you're looking from the sun into the hot sand. And I cannot forget you, for you will always be part of me. And that's the cash builder. Well, if you didn't get anything before, you know, uh, last play for you, cash right now would be incredibly in demand. That actually is um looks like it's every area this I can access right now. So I should go up, across, and that way. Ow. Hold on. I'll take the hit. I didn't swing before I moved. That was just in case someone was there. I haven't yet done the execution to require let me get the thing yet, so I should really, you know, I should probably really, really go and get a save point here. Cause we are in out of time. We're going into overtime right now. And the smart thing would be to go to up to there and save up. However, I'm not smart, and I probably will try and find the one in here. Die and then come back. Partially filled. Yay! But that was the first guy we needed. Completely moot point, because I'm... my um bing bong attack. Well then again. Okay, I am tempted if I, a, if I had a save point here I would be tempted to drop down and see where I landed. Dude, you still rolling around. Oh, 
See, you don't have the, the fall safety fall net thing here, for here. So, I, it does make me wonder, where would you go? Because I dropped down up here, and wound up... I took myself off here, and wound up in here. So if I threw myself off now, would I wind up in... down here? Or in, in any area that's connected to here? Or would there be like a secret thingy right here? That I need... I could get to. And thus actually skip and jump whole segments of the game... gameplay. Sort of thing that I would really like to do, only to check out once I've like got a save point. Okay, I gotta go check it out now. I have a save point, doesn't matter what happens now, I have a save point. I think I'm going to get both of them. Dermo! Echoes of Salt? Where is this place? What? Um, I've wound up somewhere new. I have now saved. Because I know nothing of this territory or how to get in here. Echoes of salt. Okay, something I need you know, to get over there, but damn, these fireballs come quicker often. Well, so far I found one dude punch. And now I found the annoying people to punch. More than there, you can guarantee it. Yep, there they are. Till the tail animation finishes hitting the ground, they're f fair game. I say, I won't put one there because there's not enough room. I'm heading up. Echoes of salt leads to the back side of here. Ooh, that explains that then. I've never been to the Echoes of Salt before. That's DLC, that's new that's new territory. I really want to continue this way. I don't want to go like through here and skip something. But at the same time, I really want to go explore this place. <laughs> Just do that, get rid of it. I said I won't put one there because it's too narrow. I have a funny feeling I need a skill or something that lets me get... let me jump. 
of things I hit because there's no way I can pull that off with my current jump skill. It's also the end of stream, I know, but we're going to overtime. Jondo. Something Quicksilver, okay. It's Jondo, apparently. But not from the area I take it from. Okay, so this is definitely not an area I've been to. The Jundo bit, yes. As before, that's where I've been to before, but... This part? No. No, the Quicksilver bit, definitely not. But, we are actually out of time, so I have do have to end the stream. But yeah, um, Echoes of Salt. Oh, there's more to it though. Bye. That was actually tense, I didn't mean to just run up on him like that. Oh, another thing you're waking. There's a bell thingy, we we'll get to talk to this guy again. Hi! somebody else up. Oh, that's in the path for Jundo. I got a funny feeling I might need a skill to jump above them. Yeah, I don't know how I'm supposed to get through here. But I think I need to actually start beating up on the mana seed because before I actually get it can go any further. Okay, I've got the thing. Oh! Ow! The 
Yeah, around me buzzes with electricity. Dude, you just like rolled back into me. The Manaceed are awakened. Be gone. But yes, when we come back, folks, we have um, we have awaken, awoken two of them now. Probably there's five of them, and I do have more health. But I think before I start going after the Amanacida, I think I really need to get to the other side of Juno here and get to the Rosary Bead Lady waiting for me. I have two knots. With that, I can put two more artifacts on this, on this thing. Even though we are now actually gaining new artifacts. Anyway, that's all for next time. So until then, until then, I shall catch you all later. See ya.